Hello, my name is Mr. Asbury, and I've got another tricky question for you today. And I've been very busy, so I'm a bit behind on my recording, so I'm going to do this question live. I'm just going to pick a random question, and uh, yeah, we're just going to roll with it. So this is from uh, a fantastic website called madassmass.com. Please do check it out. Um, and a benefit of this is that the questions are really tough, and they're meant to put you outside of your comfort zone. Um, which is great because hopefully now you're so close to your exams you would have done the majority of the past papers on your spec. So this is a way of trying to do those types of questions which the exam boards do throw up every year that are slightly different and that really do kind of challenge your problem solving skills. Okay, right, let's do this. Um, so, Siri doesn't do random letters. Uh, Siri, give me a random number between 1 and 26. 19, okay, so 19 would be uh, S. Oh, fantastic, S is extremely hard, brilliant. <laughs> okay, let's go down to S. Uh, thanks, Siri. And um, there are 17 questions in this paper. Siri, give me a random number between one and 17. It's two. Two, okay. Uh, right, let's go down then to number two. Uh, proof by contradiction. Oh, we haven't done many proof questions actually, so why not? This sounds fantastic. That log base 10 of 5 is an irrational number. Okay, right, I'm going to swap over to my notebook. And um, as I do that, I would just say that yes, uh, live sessions. I'm doing live sessions and I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Because uh, I'm just going to be crunching through <laughs> integration uh, on Wednesday at half term. Uh, if you want to join the session, you can do link in description. Um, yes, we're going to. I'm going to teach you all the tips and tricks that I know about integration, and then we're going to crunch through some of the hardest uh, exam questions. Looking forward to it. Okay. Um, right. Prove by contradiction that log uh, base ten uh, of five is an irrational number. So any proof by contradiction, we must state. Um, that um, we're going to assume the uh, negation of that, the opposite. So I'm going to assume uh, that log base 10 of 5 um, is a rational number. Um, and if that is true, then um, I can write, therefore, log base 10 of 5 is equal to a over b, uh, because an irrational number is just uh, uh, um, is can be written as a fraction essentially in its simplest form. Therefore, log base ten of five is equal to a over, uh, a over b, where a uh, and b um, are natural numbers, or uh, well, not necessarily natural numbers. Sorry, integer numbers. They're integers um, that are co-prime. Uh, which means that they don't have any uh, like common factors between them. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, okay, now let's write this now um, as an uh, as an indice, uh, because we know that if we have um, log, uh, let's say base a um, of x is equal to n, then that is exactly the same as saying that a to the n is equal to x. These two statements are. Um, are identical. Uh, so what that means is, is that I can write that 10 to the power of a over b is equal to 5, just by following that uh, identity of, of a logarithm. Um, okay, uh, so what does that mean? Okay, that means that um, I can uh, write that as 10 uh, to the power of um, a over b to the power of b is equal to 5 to the b. So I could take um, both sides, uh, I could raise to the power of b. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to split up these um, uh, this indice here, which is um, a over b, um, so that it's in terms of, uh, so basically the b is going to move to the other side. Uh, so that means I'm going to have 10 to the a is equal to 5 to the b. Um, and now, we, because a and b are whole numbers, it means that the left-hand side is a power of 10. 
uh, it could be it could be 10 to the 2 it could be 10 to the 6 it could be a million um, and the right hand side is a power of 5 so it could be 5 25 125 um, but the point is is that no power of 5 is the same as a power of 10 uh, so we can say that um, uh, the left hand side is a power of 10 and the right hand side is a uh, power of 5. Um, there are no powers of 10 that uh, equal a power of 5. Uh, therefore, we have reached a contradiction. And we must say now that, and this is really important, we must um, say thus we have proved that log base 10 of 5 is irrational. Okay, fantastic. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, once again, yeah, do check out my live session because uh, if um, or if it gets a bit of traction, then I might do some more. And uh, I reckon it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, bye for now.